Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna go through uh, one of the most uh, exciting, from my point of view, diagnostic paths. We're gonna look into partial indexing and partial rendering and how to diagnose that. And I chose one of um, uh, my favorite examples because it shows you how those different problems uh, interact with different other problems within technical SEO space. So I chose ux.com and I chose this domain for, for a very good reason. This is our top domain in the TGIF, the Google Indexing Forecast database with the most, uh, with the biggest ratio of, of uh, unindexed URLs uh, to indexed URLs. So basically, ux.com has 81% of their URLs out of Google's index. I'm going to repeat that. They only have 19% URLs indexed, making that 81% of their URLs not indexed in Google. And one of the reasons for that is obviously JavaScript uh, here in this case and partial rendering. So how they structure the script, how they structure their website affects crawling and indexing. So let's have a look at the page first and I'm going to walk you through uh, everything step by step. So this is uh, ux.com and uh, this is a page that's actually indexed <laughs> and this is basically a product page with, uh, with oh, very expensive uh, loafers. I'm guessing this is a kind of shoes for all the ladies out there making fun of me that I don't know that I'm guessing this is the name of the shoe. I'm gonna skip that part just to don't uh, just to focus on the things I actually know something about. So so this is the page and, and I know that this URL is indexed so um, by copying this this URL uh, we can use the site command and see, okay, this URL is indexed and make sure to double check that because the site comment is often, uh, more and more often giving us false negatives. So if the URL is not indexed in Google according to the site comment, play with that a little bit more uh, and, and see if that's really the case. And just to have a look if the, the product description is actually indexed, I'm gonna use the made in Italy. I actually did it before, uh, pr prepared that for us to make it this video quicker, shorter and more to the point, so we can see made in Italy uh, is actually indexed, and uh, and we can see that this whole description was uh, in that uh, search engine result as well. But the problems begin when we start to look into some other sections of the page. So I already know again that this section, these two sections, are more by this designer, and you may also like. We can I guess call it a product carousel of sorts is not indexed. So let's have a look at that. Let me walk you through that. So more by this designer, this part is not indexed for this page. And you may also like, it's also not indexed. So these two sections, they kind of struggle uh, to, uh, to get into Google index because Google most likely didn't render this page fully. And let's walk through why this might have happened for ux.com. So to begin our diagnostic uh, path, we're gonna go uh, and press Command Option and I on the Mac, and there's gonna be a Windows equ equivalent on the screen here. We're gonna go and see all of these uh, different tabs here. We're gonna go to Network, and what we wanna do is we wanna refresh the page to see all of the resources uh, that are loading. And we can sort them through all um, X, uh, HRs, JS, CSS, uh, and, and so on. We can go through all different types. Today we're going to be focusing only on JS and on images. Because what we want to do today is we want to block all of the images uh, and all of the scripts that are not essential for the layout. Why are we doing that? Because batch optimized um, render and fetch architecture at Google is not looking at those things. So we want to have a look at this page from exactly the same point of view as Google does. So what we want to go do, I already have all of the requests um, all of the URLs prepared here in the bottom, but we want to, I'm just going to walk you through the logic. We want to go through JS first and block all of the things that uh, most likely are from like a completely separate domain. And like I want to block this Criteo um, URL because I'm assuming this is not essential for this page to load and just want to show you how to look into that. So, okay, after blocking every single script, I'm not gonna uh, clear this section, refresh the page and see 
if those two elements we're looking at, so more by this designer in this case, and you may also like are still visible. Because I'm gonna show you, if you block uh, one script too many, let's go and block everything with .js in it. If you block all one script too many, you're gonna um, remove that section altogether. So right now we can see, okay, we removed with basically in a way almost disabled JavaScript. So those two sections are gone. And why does it matter that much? Let me walk you through one more thing. So we're looking at this page. I'm gonna leave the Chrome developer tools for a second. And these two sections are not visible if we, so I'm gonna use this plugin here to disable JavaScript. So once we disable JavaScript, these two sections are gone. So we can see that this uh, two elements of the layout rely on JavaScript completely. So that's most likely why Google is struggling to index them because they have to go through rendering and scripting before rendering. So they have to go through scripting and rendering. And we wanna diagnose today if UX is very heavy on those resources. So let's go back to the Chrome developer tools. I hope you guys, uh, you can pause this video and basically block all of those resources yourself. And you wanna end up with a page that looks more or less like that. Let me just make sure I didn't block JavaScript again. I blocked it here. So let me just get to the view that I want you guys to look at. Boom. Okay, so let me just refresh the page and your page uh, right now, if you did everything correctly, which I don't, oh yeah, if you did everything correctly, should look something like this. Okay, so we have all of the sections and before disabling all of those scripts, make sure to, to, to have a look if you didn't disable one script too many. And just one tip, when you block those resources here, so let's say we're gonna block this one, uh, and they keep coming back. This one is going to be one on the very bottom. So we'll just refresh after every single script you block. That takes a bit of time. Uh, refresh all of the page and see, okay, maybe something broke down. Maybe one of the section is gone. Then you want to go ahead and trash that script uh, completely. So I'm more or less happy with, with what I have. I still could go after these three icons. I choose not to. I don't think it's going to affect uh, the final result that much. Um, and I still have some scripts. I'm not sure what they do. Sorry, but new scripts, sometimes they come up after you block the ones you, you, you don't need. Anyhow, okay, I, I'm happy with what I have. And now we want to go into the performance tab. So now that we're here, we, we see again all of these sections. So more by this designer, you may also like are visible. We want to go and press this button to start profiling and reload the page. And before we do, I want to make sure that we have the cache disabled in the network tab. So make sure that this uh, spot is ticked and just start profiling and re reload the page. It's going to take a while. So just sit back and relax for a second. Oh, it's actually, it went quite well. But right now we can see that even though I'm on a very, very uh, powerful uh, computer on, a, on the top of the line MacBook Pro 15 inch with like max out CPU and everything. So we can assume why I'm saying that is we can assume that Google is not using uh, that, mu that much computing power to render one thread, yeah, to render just one page with a near domain. Uh, and Google has this concept of a virtual clock. So they will give you, will assign you how much re rendering time, let's call it that rendering time or rendering budget, you're gonna get uh, for this page to be rendered. So we can see there is one second spent scripting. So just going through the scripts logic to see this section here um, takes quite a lot of time. So it makes sense if we think of that for Google maybe to skip that um, skip that uh, scripting uh, just to save that resources because they only lose this section. And just to see how much that would be, um, how that would change on a slower CPU, let's go ahead and let's throttle that CPU through this uh, feature here. So we're gonna go with a six times uh, CPU slowdown. And that's gonna show you how much your website, your page 
relies on that computing power to render. And this will take, or not, more, a little bit more time. So you can see that uh, scripting went up a bit. And we can see just by even the yellow color here in the Chrome Developer Tools um, performance tab, a lot of yellow here. This is gonna show us that this website is very script heavy, so it's not uh, really something that we should um, ignore. We should be looking into this logic. So uh, we can see right now that this is gonna be the problem. We can go and uh, remove that short link. So this page, ux.com, will most likely have users struggling on a slower mobile devices as well. So if your users, they, they're not on an, uh, on an iPhone like 11 or whatever, uh, but on a slower slower mobile device, they will have critical rendering path. Uh, they will have problems with web performance, which we can measure by looking to crit critical rendering path. But what's really important, I would look, if I were uh, to talk to UX developer, I would look into this uh, section here, this logic, and see maybe there is something else. Maybe we can dig a little bit deeper into why this section requires so much scripting why Google is ignoring that when rendering. And I would definitely look into improving that because again, just so you guys know, this section not being indexed uh, is going to affect internal linking, crawling, and will leave, will leave with all of the problems that UX is struggling with. with. So 80%, maybe in your case, it's going to be that massive, I hope, 81% of your URLs not indexed in Google. So this is more or less it. We can see that the scripting here is, is, is the key problem for ux.com. And when diagnosing those different sections, just try to see how it's gonna affect. But just to finish this up, let me show you how we can also emulate something I did in the very beginning, uh, this page without the section. So let's see how uh, what's the difference. So we had one second something with just scripting with this section below. And you can see just without that section, if we remove that, this time for scripting and rendering goes down massively. So, so we want to make sure that there is some kind of web performance budget for this section and for the whole website, basically. And uh, because as you can see, just removing this one section on the bottom, let me show you that again. So 200 millisecond scripting with uh, JavaScript enabled. And if we go and ahead and uh, look at the web performance again, we can see that this goes again to almost one second. So if we look at that from, from Google's point of view, by removing this section, they uh, save more than 80% of uh, the resources just to, uh, by removing those two sections. So this makes sense because Google has limited resources to, uh, to render to uh, process all of the websites, because right now, something we need to remember, just to finish this video, uh, something we need to remember, Google has less resources uh, than uh, needed to render and crawl the whole, and index the whole World Wide Web. So they will pick and choose who's gonna get in, and pages making it difficult for Google to render basically will be partially indexed. Thanks so much. I hope this was useful. This is more or less a walkthrough uh, to have a look uh, at your page from the batch optimized rendering point of view. Thanks so much and see you soon. And make sure to subscribe because we're going to have more videos into rendering SEO and indexing diagnostic. Thank you so much.